Welcome to Open Source RV. They say an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And when it comes to boondocking, five minutes of research could save you hours driving. Thank you for subscribing to my station. And make sure you stay tuned to the middle of the video, as that's where we cover more of the advanced tips and tricks. The very first thing you're going to want to do is head to a website like Campendium that has actual campground listings. Put in where you're going to camp and then you're going to have the chance to modify things like the price of how much you want to pay or the category. You can do either private campgrounds, public ca campgrounds, parking, or places to dump your waste. Over here at the map you're going to get a lot of information like what type of area it is. Like in this example it's a wilderness study area or you'll see over here in this lightly uncolored area that it's private property. And if you actually take a look right at the campsite and click on it, you'll get the page for the campsite and there's going to be a lot of information here. Uh, some of the most important information is going to be at the top right here. In addition to that it's going to show you your elevation and what type of pad it is. They'll show you the price of how much you can expect to pay and what type of self sewn reception you'll get. You also get a bunch of reviews so you'll see what the individual people thought of the property. Back to the top you'll see some of the most important information is right here. They actually have the GPS coordinates and the official page of whoever manages the campground. And you can also click on it directly and go to you know, directly to it. You're not going to need to copy and paste the address or anything like that. They've got the GPS put in there for you so you won't make any mistakes. And they also have the phone number which is super convenient. It'll either be the campground, BLM, or whoever's in charge. Here's another website that has camp listings called Free Roam. It actually seems to have a slightly better map. Like as you can see here, you can see what type of cell phone re reception you can expect. And it has layers like BLM land and forest service lands. Also notice you can see the private property here. In green, that's private property, and that's private property. That's two mines. So Free Roam's a good site. I like the, the map a little bit better, but this map's even better than both of them. This is the for actual Forest Service website map. And you'll see on the left here, I only go on these top three roads, suitable for passenger cars. The top three there, anything else in my RV is probably not going to have the best time. That's really handy, and it's actually very accurate. So you also notice that uh, this Forest Service map shows maybe more information than the other maps. You can see here this military property, all this light gray is military property. And you can also see the, you know, the two little private properties within the wilderness study area. And of course this website is actually for the National Forest, so of course it's going to show the National Forest and it shows the campgrounds in there. Now this final map here is the BLM map. This is the map directly from the Bureau of Land Management and it's highly accurate as well. It, it's very in detail. It shows you grazing leases, oil and gas leases, it shows the Indian Reservation. It's very accurate. So knowing where you're going to camp is important. Knowing the weather where you're going to camp is probably more important. And the site I would recommend to you for that is Weather Underground. It has an excellent 10-day forecast. And not only does it run 10 days out, it shows everything based on an hourly basis. So you'll know the weather one hour from now, or up to 10 days. And it's highly customizable. You can change whatever you want to know. It has a lot of different parameters you can change. And it's been a great program for us. It really lets us know what the weather's going to be like either an hour out or up to 10 days out. Another powerful tool I'd like to share with you is this elevation map. Knowing the elevation can be very important. It can affect a lot of systems. It can affect how hard it's going to be to tow up and down hills. It can also have an effect on carbureted motors like your generator and other systems. 
it can affect your propane system as well. Uh, some people have problems with their propane systems at high altitudes, and temperature can almost directly correlate with altitude as well. So it's important to know what altitude you're going to be at. So when you're done boondocking, you'll probably have some waste to get rid of. Whether this is a black tank or gray tank, I could highly recommend the website sannydumps.com. You can also see places to dump at Free Roam and Campanium as well, but I found that Sandy Dumps has extra places that aren't listed there. It's been very helpful. Driving to go dump your, your tanks is never fun, and Sandy Dumps has made it a lot easier, and it's definitely saved me some time. It definitely has some locations that aren't shown in Campendium or Free Roam.